Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. First of all, Happy New Year to all. And sorry for delay, I'm a little busy in some work, that's why I'm not uploading our videos. Okay, and uh, let's start a new topic that is smoke sensor MCO. Okay, uh, link with Arduino. Okay, Lavi plus Arduino. Okay, first of all, we need to uh, take uh, some component, and that is first you need to Arduino, you know. Okay, and the second one is you need to MCO sensor that is looking like this. And you need to purchase MQ2 because MQ3 is for like uh, alcohol and MQ2 for smoke. Okay, that's why I'm using MQ2 for smoke purpose. Okay, you choose like this. Okay, the uh, last one is relay. Okay, you need to choose buzzer LED instead of relay. Okay, I'm using relay. Okay, you can choose uh, LED or a buzzer as per your requirement. Okay, first of all, you need to connection. Like you see, they have a four pins a note d note ground and vcc okay first connect to vcc to 5 volt and 5 volt in arduino here and you see here is 5 volt okay there is 5 volt you connect to 5 volt to uh, vcc pin okay the second is like ground you see they have a ground pin g and d connect to a ground to arduino ground and you see they have a ground pins you see you have ground pins there are two grounds you can choose any one connect to ground to ground okay the next one is like analog okay we need uh, no need to uh, connect to digital pin okay if you uh, need then you connect easily okay but i am not use digital pin okay i'm use only analog okay because help of this we uh, on led buzzer or relay okay that's why i'm connect a note pin to a note you see they have a, a note pin a note a1 a2 this is for analog that's why i'm using a note right now okay these are the connections and second connection is relay if you have a led or a buzzer then you directly connect to like this uh, use any pin like i'm using uh, like i replace to here and i'm use 12 pin okay if you have a led then positive pin connect to the 12 and the negative pin connect to ground you see they have a ground pin okay if you have a led or a buzzer you can directly connect 12 pin for a positive and ground for negative okay i am using relay that's why i need to connect ground vcc and input okay input is my same as 12 okay that vcc and ground is same i'm giving from here vcc 5 volt okay 3 volt or a ground okay you can use 5 volt also that is the connections of sensor and a relay or uh, if you have i already tell if you have a led or a buzzer you directly positive pin connect to 12 and negative for ground only okay but i'm using relay that's why i need to three connections vcc ground and input okay that is all the connections okay now come in the programming okay now let's start okay you see this is the most important i will tell you later okay first right click on here come on the arduino pin it okay like this okay first we need to int for initialization second clause for program clause okay the, then click to low level and you see there have lots of pins like analog read pin digital read pin okay but we need to analog read pin because the sensor is uh, our like input that's why we need to analog read pin what's the given from the sensor that's why you need to drag here and you need to turn on relay as per your requirement like led or a buzzer okay you need to need a digital right pin okay that's why i'm connect one digital okay that's all now close this okay now uh, come arduino resource to arduino resource same connecting uh, all of this like this okay this is for error out because help of this we uh, consider about their uh, connections okay or a communication okay help of these two wires this is for a communication because this then this then this it's communicate to each other okay now okay select this and come here and choose this for same okay 
now uh, right click on here okay now i'm drag here right click on here come the structure come the while loop and you need to create a while loop like this okay now you see they have a shift register for transfer the value or restore the value okay it's automatic create now right click on here create a control okay this is for the stop the program okay you need to uh, increase as per your requirement okay and now you see they have one analog input because this is uh, read right click on here and click to create control and this is a control and you see they have appear on here analog input pin okay increase their size that is pin i am using analog uh, pin zero that's why enter zero only okay because a note is considered G a zero okay see analog pin okay uh, okay okay now uh, you see they have uh, this is the right digital right pin okay and you see they have a value zero okay now right click on here and create a control because this is we need to consider uh, any pins and I am using 12 pin okay you, if you have LED or a buzzer you can connect to 12 pin for positive okay I am using relay that's why I am using 12 and an another like VCC or a ground also okay now change their size okay that's all okay and you see they have voltage right click on here and click to indicator okay this is the voltage as like this is a 5 volt okay now drag here okay and you see they have a uh, one pin that is 0 or 1 okay now you see there have a voltage and this is the uh, our uh, mathematics program like this if you need to uh, display 5 volt okay if you need to display 5 volt then this is the mathematically uh, like 5 volt this is the 5 this is 5 volt okay from input divide by 102323 and multiply by 1025 okay this is from the sensor okay but in live it's give 0 to 5 volt okay that's why i'm using this mathematic program okay 0 divided by 5 it's mean this is 0 to 5 volt this is the sensor uh, output okay that's give 0 to 5 volt if the smoke is high then give 5 if the uh, smoke is uh, less then give 0 to 5 okay in between this okay and this is for constant okay 5 volt 5 and divide by 1023 okay this is for analog range okay 0 to 1 2 3 b that's why we need to divide this and now we got like this type of range from smoke sensor okay help of this we consider about how much smoke in our area okay now we need to apply this mathematical operation on here okay how we can do this okay now you see right click on here come on the numeric pin it okay you see first we need to 5 divide by 1023 okay 5 divide by 1023 then we need to uh, divide right click here okay now uh, right click on here and create constant and enter value 1023 same here okay and 5 for divide now right click on it constant and that's for 5 okay that's all okay 5 and uh, this is complete okay now we need to divide by 0 0.5 how we can do this okay now create a, uh, another one that is divide okay you see they have a 0 0.5 volt that is from output from the sensor that's why i'm connect from here because this give the value you see 0 to 5 voltage okay that's why i'm connecting on here okay now this uh, this is divided by this value okay i already uh, connected this that's why i'm connecting on the input to this okay now uh, the output is here now right click on here and create indicator okay now i delete this voltage control p and you see they have one uh, analog value increase this sorry okay like this 
now I am enter here sensor yeah where I am sensor smoke smoke output okay like this this is smoke output okay now uh, you see they have a value okay now consider uh, uh, make a small logic right click on here and create uh, come, come, come to comparison and create and create greater okay and uh, you see I comparison from this value if the value is greater than constant here okay now uh, you need to control I like to control okay because we need to enter a value that is uh, smoke value okay okay now uh, I need to select okay close this Uh, sorry i delete this uh, right click on here and come to boolean and you see number to array and boolean to zero one okay now i track this here okay and click to this because uh, why i'm do this because if the value is greater than a uh, smoke value that is the uh, here small value like i'm consider i will tell you okay if I enter like 400 or a 300 if, or like I have entered 400 if the value is greater than 400 then our buzzer LED or relay on help of this that's why I'm connected to right here okay and uh, this value is display on here okay smoke sensor and the smoke uh, value sensor is from 0 to 105 I'm enter here and 0 to 1025 okay that is the range if the range is greater than 400 then the led is on you can change from here like 300 if the value is greater than 300 then your relay or buzzer on okay you can change up to 1025 this is the last value okay that's why i'm using 400 okay if um, our value is greater than 400 then the buzzer or led or i'm using relay that indicate me if your value is greater than 400 okay this is our uh, system okay now our programming is done okay uh, let's try to connect your arduino to uh, your laptop okay okay and now run a uh, program okay click to run okay sorry sorry first right click on here and create a control okay because help of this we need to uh, connect our com okay now connect click to refresh and connect uh, like I think uh, I need to click to refresh then connect to this you can choose your port you see LEDs blink if the run if uh, have uh, LEDs blinking okay then you need to uh, press a refresh button okay now uh, in my condition it's okay and you see now release off and this is our smoke sensor they have and no smoke uh, in their uh, smoke sensor and you see the value is like 35 okay this is 354 and condition is 400 if the value is greater than smoke is greater than 400 then release on okay now uh, you see I have smoke I am come to nearby this and you see value is greater than 400 and you see release on okay if you use LED or a buzzer then automatic on okay I am using this okay when I remove this okay after a few minutes or a second you see value is greater you see in live view value is 460 450 it's decrease okay after a few seconds it's decrease less than 400 and you notice from here and you see the relays automatic off that time 
okay now that's values for 15 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and 400 and you see release off okay that's a fully working okay then I'm using again this is the most smoke sensor and I'm using the smoke and you see raise on and the value is more than 400 okay you can change as per your requirement from here okay and these are fully working okay okay now you see hardware project is fully complete you can modify as per your requirement use relay or a buzzer okay now uh, we need to li uh, little modification here okay now you need to connect uh, output also like LED for display now I am using the LED that is silver okay for indication because in the hardware relays operate if you have used LED or a uh, like a buzzer then it's or operate okay but in live view we need to connect any uh, LED for visualization that's why I'm uh, this is my LED and now it's connecting to this condition okay if the value is greater than 400 then our buzzer or LED is on okay that's I am enter here like my relay relay okay okay if the value is greater than 400 then relay on okay let's try it now I run the program and refresh from Arduino and okay the smoke is I am nearby this my sensor and you see LED is on okay if I remove the uh, smoke and after a few seconds LED is automatically down okay now you easily modify your program as per your requirement okay okay and now it's take a few second or a few minute maybe okay yes it's take few second okay because if value is less than 400 then automatic LED is off okay I already uh, sh uh, seen hardware okay okay you see 406 5 4 3 2 1 400 less than 400 and you see LEDs off okay it's fully work okay now turn off this project and modify as per your requirement like this okay okay uh, you can change uh, like this like you can replace from other modules like they have numeric and you can choose from meter gaze or a temperature like this okay you can choose gaze also and gaze value is increased like 1025 okay enter and see okay this is a small small smoke value this is the relay and this is the values leak okay now I'm run this program and refresh Arduino okay now you see the values 350 okay if I connect the smoke from nearby smoke sensor and you see the value is remove 650 then I remove the smoke and you see the values decrease okay it's fully smart working and here okay this is the mathematically calculation here if you need display 0 to 255 then use this formula if you need to display 5 volt that, that directly connect from display from here because this is display the voltage okay now program is complete and thanks a lot guys and if you like this video please share with your friend and subscribe our channel thanks a lot guys